In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use navigation bar buttons in Swift UI using the toolbar modifier that's new in iOS 14. So as always, a quick 30 second rundown of the starter project. I have just a basic sample profile uh, screen here. I have a profile image, which if I scroll down to that profile image, you can see it's just an image view with resizable a 100 by 100 frame, clip shaped into a circle, pretty simple. And then we have the form here in our VStack, uh, which has a section of personal info, and then, you know, first name, last name, company that you see on the right. So that's the basic setup for the starter project. Now, a key thing to know about the toolbar is your view does need to be wrapped in a navigation view like you see here, right? It's kind of hard to have navigation bar buttons without a navigation view. And a quick note on the toolbar modifier, which again is new in iOS 14. Uh, the reason that exists now is before you had to do like navigation bar items, but things like watchOS don't have navigation bars. So the new toolbar modifier API is uh, a universal one for Swift UI. So if you use toolbar, you're gonna get the expected look and behavior uh, across all Apple platforms. So just a key note there, this is uh, new in iOS 14, so it does require that. Okay, let's get to it here. So here on our VStack, which again is holding our profile image in a form, you can see we have our navigation title of profile. Right below the navigation title on our VStack, we can do dot toolbar and give it a view builder here. And again, there's a couple different variations where we can have just the word as a navigation bar button or an image. So let's start simple with just the word and we'll get into the images and even multiple buttons uh, in a bit here. So real simple, you can do button and then uh, the simplest initializer of button here is the uh, title key in an action. So the title key, let's say we wanna save any changes to the profile and then the action here uh, we can just get rid of and give ourselves a uh, closure through here. We can type, you know, print, you know, save tapped. Uh, and obviously you would do whatever you need to do when that button is tapped. So if we go ahead and run this on the simulator, I wanna show you that, you know, it does actually print save tap to show you that the button is working. And here, if I hit save, uh, you'll see, let me move the simulator uh, to say saved tapped. And here we got the, you know, some constraint stuff, but that's all Swift UI printout stuff. Can't do anything about that. So you see save tapped, the button is working. Now that is just the, uh, the most simple version, right? You just have a word, uh, save, clear, something like that. Um, real quick though, if you do want to customize it, cause that's blue, maybe blue isn't the color you want. On the navigation view here, right? Which is this closure here, you can do dot accent uh, color. And we'll just do dot red. You can put in whatever color you want there. But now you see my save uh, button turned red. Okay, now that's the simplest version, uh, very, very basic. Let's say you want multiple uh, buttons, right? Maybe you wanna save and a clear button. Oh, real quick, you notice this is on the right-hand side. We're gonna get into this in a second. Uh, Swift UI automatically knows to push it to the right for left to right reading languages. On right to left reading languages, it'll automatically like put it on the left. So it does that automatically. You can specify which side you want it on. That's what we're gonna get into now. And that also coincides with like adding multiple buttons here. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's add a toolbar uh, item group. See there, we'll go ahead and initialize that. We want placement and then content. And then real quick, let's get rid of the uh, content parameter. We'll just go ahead and give the view builder here. Put our button in there just to, you know, have Xcode chill with the errors here. And now toolbar placement, we can do dot uh, navigation bar uh, trailing is what you know it defaults to, but let's do leading real quick. And now you can see my save button move to the left. And again, if I change leading to uh, trailing, now it moves it over uh, to the right there. Okay, so now I have this toolbar item group, but there's only one button in it. So let's uh, copy, paste the second button. Uh, you'll see another save. Let's say we want this to be, you know, clear or something, right? So you see we have save and clear. And you know, if you wanna get crazy with it, you can add, you know, <laughs> you'll see we'll add five buttons. I don't recommend doing that. That's probably a very cluttered UI, uh, but just to show you, uh, you can do it, you know? So we'll just keep it to two, which is maybe a, a common uh, use case there. Okay, so that's the navigation bar button with just the words. Uh, you've seen that plenty of times in like Apple's default. Now let's change our button to give us the more uh, involved uh, button uh, initializer here, we do button and a label. And now the label, we can put whatever we want here. We'll still do uh, save tapped in the in the action here. Let's actually get rid of you. And in the label now, we're actually gonna put a label. You could do just an image, like I could do image, uh, you know, system name and put in my, you know, SF symbol here. That will work. However, uh, I recommend using label here instead of an image. Uh, we'll do label. Uh, title key uh, with system image so we can use SF symbols. Uh, so I'll say, you know, save and then the system image here. Let's open up SF symbols here and I'll search for save 
and square and arrow down. Do Command Shift C to copy that uh, back to Xcode. And we're going to Command V to paste that in there to get the square arrow down. Now resume. And you see, we're just gonna get the image. We're not gonna get like the words and the image because that takes up too much space. Uh, however, the, the benefits of using label is because we have this text here, we get accessibility benefits for screen readers and such. Whereas if you just had an image, it would read off the image name of square dot and dot arrow dot, dot you know. Um, so having this extra text here uh, is good for accessibility screen reader benefits here. Again, if you want to, you can use just an image, but I would recommend using a label. You get the same effect. So now that's it having an image. And again, uh, because we are in a toolbar item group, we can just copy, paste, and I'll paste in like three of them just to show you. And you see now we have three buttons in there. If you only want two, obviously you put two in there. And of course you would have to update the label and then whatever image you wanted in there from SF symbols. But that is how you get the, the bar button items. And again, trailing, you can make it leading to move it over to the left there if you wanted them over there for some reason. So that is the basics of navigation bar buttons uh, using the new toolbar modifier in SwiftUI and iOS 14. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like my teaching style, my presentation style, started creating my own courses at the website you see here. Link is also in the description. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.